Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We have a Moza box here, their new HGP shifter. Big thank you to Moza Racing for sending this out to me. We're gonna get this thing opened up and take a look and see what is inside and take a look at all the features. So the HGP shifter was something I've been waiting to get from Moza Racing just to complete my Moza ecosystem and remove the Fanatec shifter that is having misshifts. So inside, of course, we do have a very, very hefty shift knob. The very hefty shift knob with some nice grooves and stuff. I bet you this is going to feel quite well. We're going to see if maybe the other shift knobs I have will screw on as well. But we have a, you know, our basic shift knob over there. And then, of course, we have all the cables that we're going to be using. We're going to be using probably the phone style cable to plug into my USB hub and use just the USB hub instead of plugging more cords into my uh, PC. And of course, we do have all our tool kits and screws and looks like some rubber bumpers or maybe rubber padding double-sided tape, rubber padding, or something like that. Something we'll look into once we fully get this open. So of course, we're gonna take out the foam and get to the guts of what this shifter actually is. And it's quite small and compact compared to what I thought it was gonna be. And of course, very nice quality aircraft grade aluminum, nice etched in Moza, a lot of mounting points on the bottom, a lot of different holes and mounting points that we can utilize. And we do have, oh, a very solid clicking into gear. And if you look down inside there, you can see there's a boot down there that is going to keep everything out from getting down inside there. A little leather or leather-esque boot. I wonder if we could actually take this top plate off and use it without gates because gate shifter is going to be something to get used to for quick banging into gears and and it looks like it does have a lockout. Let's push down to get to it. Same with uh, seventh gear. You got to push down and get to that for seventh gear. So overall, quality looks awesome. Of course, we have the transmitting and the USB. We're going to be using the transmit as I knock my camera out. We're going to use the transmit one, plugging into the USB hub, like I said. We're going to see if that works. Definitely uh, very solid, and I love the way it looks. Compact design compared to my Fanatec one. For comparison, much smaller than the Fanatec shifter. And of course, I have had issues with mist shifting on my Fanatec shifter, but I'm very curious if it's the same. It is. It's the same thread pitch shifter on the same thread pitch shifter on top as my Fanatec one. So we can use those other shift knobs and stuff that I have. But of course, we're going to be putting on the one it came with screw that down in there that is a quite nice shifter so let's get this on the rig and go full send with it and uh, see what features we got because I know this has a auto blip for downshifting and things like that so let's get it on the rig all right so we did go ahead and get the Moza shifter hooked up onto the next level chassis really solid nice in there right next to the Moza handbrake so when I was going through the box, those rubber isolators that were in the bag are actually indicated for shifting and they're designed to stick right on top of the shifter to add a rubber basic isolation so that there's not as much of the metal click noise and stuff like that. It's also to probably prevent wear and tear, just double-sided tape stick on. So these things are really cool that Moses provides these uh, isolators with you know the numbers embedded in them so you can still see, even though you should know what gear you're going into. So when it comes to the Moses software, um, I plugged my shifter right into my USB hub and it works right away, activated it, everything is working. It's really cool that they have that gear indicator on the software. So if you wanted to run this on a second window or something, you could see and have a gear indicator. Now I can't run the auto uh, downshift blip, the th throttle blip, because I'm not currently running Moza pedals because I do not have a clutch pedal on my Moza pedals yet. So 
I can hook it all up and run it with two pedals, but I would not have a clutch. So for drifting and aspect like that, I do need a clutch, and I currently don't have a triple Moza pedal setup. So that's something I'm going to look into in another video, the auto blip. But for overall, just tactile feel of this shifter it is super super nice and i just love how much it bangs into gear so getting used to this is probably going to be a little bit different having the gates and having to go in between gates but we'll go full send and see we do have uh corolla here at norschleifen and we do have the pit house software app down on the bottom of the screen so you can see what's going on shifter cam on the other side as well so we're gonna go full send and see if uh, we can uh, not miss gears. Oh, oh, my wheel's not uh, connected. Hold, please. All right, now we're good to go. Now my wheel is connected for some reason. Now, when I was moving around my camera and stuff, I accidentally unplugged the USB that I needed for my camera and accidentally triggered the wheel when I was in game. So now we're fully up. We got, of course, like the shifter cam down here so you guys can see the most shifter going on. What's going on? The pit house software. You see what's going on in the pit house software. And we're just going to go full send here on Norschleife in this tuned Corolla and see what we can do and see if we can not uh, miss gears because I'm not used to a gated shifter. So, oh, as I bump that uh, camera that I have set on the one side right now. So overall, first impression, I love how much it just clicks into gear. There's definitely a good tactile feel with the shifter compared to, say, my Fanatec shifter. You can actually very well tell when it's in gear. So that is... Ooh, getting a little skinny. So that's quite nice to feel, and overall, I have not noticed any issue with myself getting it into gear with the gates because like I said I'm used to a shift and it doesn't have gates like that but I'm actually not having any problem getting it into gear I love the physical click sound and the physical clicks that this shifter actually has and the height of it is actually quite nice compared to where I have everything set up on my chassis this Corolla just wants to go sideways but this is the tuned Corolla not the drift Corolla. The shift knob has a, more than enough weight that you can kind of get it into gear position and it will kind of pop itself in like that. See, it kind of pops itself into place. So the weight of that shift knob is quite nice and it's quite comfortable in this position. And like I said, I have not missed a gate yet trying to drive this in a gate shifter pattern which is something I'm not like I said I'm not used to but I'm loving how that shifter feels and also I'm not getting miss shifts like I was in my other shifter my Fanatec had a problem where I was constantly miss shifting and stuff like that so I'm constantly running in sequential because of not wanting to uh, have a miss shift we only have five gears in this Corolla so we're gonna have to uh, just run it on the red line in this part of the course we're not supposed to be drifting this car <laughs> a little bit of a lock up there probably uh, could have helped from the auto lift but like I said I do not have the most pedals currently plugged into the chassis because I do not have a third pedal and utilizing clutch is something I use all the time but overall first impressions of the shifter it is quite nice feeling and feels way nicer than my Fanatec was and I can't thank you know Moza Racing enough for being a partner on the channel and sending this out to me and giving me the opportunity to use the full Moza ecosystem right now we do have the of course the Moza handbrake the R21 the R5 and the R9 but we are on the R21 we're on that RS two wheel and uh, if I can work my way to get a clutch or a triple pedal system from Moza I of course will be running all oh, worm grass the full the full Moza ecosystem which is quite nice so I just need to get a uh, either you know the SRP light 
clutch pedal for my R5 pedal set or one of their triple pedal sets. And then we'll definitely be able to utilize that uh, rev lip down shift, like right there would've been great for a little bit of a rev match. Instead of, I mean, I can rev match myself with a heel toe, but it's a lot of the new cars, like our new BMWs and stuff like that, that we get in that I get to drive, do have auto rev matching on downshift. So it's kind of a new feature in a lot of cars. So it is kind of cool that Moza has integrated that into their shifter. So overall feel of the shifter, it is super nice. And I have not, like I said, missed a gear with it being gated and I thought I was going to. It's kind of just instinctual of where it goes and the gates don't get really in the way or anything like that. So make sure you guys follow me and also to me go off on the description box below. I'll leave the link for the shifter and everything down in the description box below as well if you guys want to pick your own Moza shifter. Yep, this, this shifter is super nice. Woo. Definitely way nicer than uh, miss shifting with my Fanatec shifter. And I know the guts of this are going to be quite, quite better than uh, the Fanatec, and it's not going to cause miss shifts over use of time. So, of course, we're going to, you know, put this through its paces here in the next couple videos and for the future on this channel with a lot of cool games and content coming out. We're going to be utilizing that and try to make sure we can get this linked in other games and stuff like that with the hub that I have connected inside of the chassis where my handbrake and my pedals just plug into that USB hub, which is quite nice for cable management and stuff like that. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All will in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. Wow, that didn't like that curve. I'm Jewel Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.